I don't know how I look, but yeah, to get my nails done. Travel. I'm not really ready to travel, but I'm packed. I'm going to my sister's house. This is 25th of December 2023. I'm going to my sister's house, and from there, I'll be traveling to Enugu on the 27th. I'm going with my brother's car, so that's the plan. This is already 5 pm. I am meant to be in my sister's house this morning, but I've been at home doing one of two things via content creation. So, yeah, Merry Christmas and happy prosperous wonderful beautiful new year this 2024 that is coming is going to be the best year for me and for you claim it and it shall be your portion in jesus name amen let me head out intro what is it if I see me hi hello hi 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 lovelies welcome back to my channel so I am so excited because I'm home <laughs> if you know me you know that I, I know they play with my village I know they play with my with family time so yeah I got back yesterday and the clip before this clip is me dropping my bag immediately I got back I went to take a quick shower and I joined my sisters they were already prepared and ready to head out for a family outing when I got back so I just rushed a, a quick bath wore clothes and joined them so yeah we had fun <laughs> Christmas is not complete when you're not home and another reason why I came back home is because it's my grandmother's burial my grandmother will be buried on the 6th of January we are heading to the village because where I usually come back home to is not like my village, my village, but it's my town where we have a house. But we have a house that we are building right now in the village. So I'm taking you to the house. When we get there, we want to do a quick tour and see what the workers are doing in preparation of my grandmother's burial. And then after then, we'll go and see one of one or two uncles and aunties. And then we'll come back home. So yeah. It's still my Christmas vlog. Last year I had like up to six episodes of Christmas vlog, but this year I'm just going to have one or two. My chauffeur is my elder sister. Hello, chauffeur. Hi. This guys. is my number one fan. Any fans me? <laughs> so she's driving Hi, us to the village. This is what they call Opie Junction. If you are going to Abuja, you must fly this route. If you are going to Suka, 
but then this road leads to my village so yeah we want to stop by and buy bread right now for people in the village I'm so whenever you're traveling most times you get to see people hawking banana and they will stop and want to sell banana so yeah i'm just taking you to my village this road leads to my village go 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 my main village so let's buy bread first for people in the village and we'll head on from there from there my head is it my hair is hairy but this hair is looking it's making me look like one big auntie that i'm not I'm a small auntie. I'm not big yet. So let's buy bread first. Whenever I am home, I remember my childhood. During Christmas, I and my sisters and cousins, especially my cousins from my maternal side, we wake up very early, every 1st of January. We will go from my maternal side to all my auntie's house. Man, that was fun. Like, we'll be singing Happy New Year today. Or Happy New Year today. Or guy in Waya Canada. Happy New Year today. If you hear it, but you understand that. Each houses we get to, you must give us money before we leave. <laughs> it was very fun. If you know the distance, we'll walk from one auntie's house to the other, especially my maternal aunties. It was very, very fun. I enjoyed those times. I know I added weight, but I didn't know it was that Four. much till I got home. Like, my sisters were so surprised. Why are you looking Four. this big? I am Six. the one that always dragged them to work out during Christmas. But I'm not that, the one that is looking like a bloated fish. But yeah, we, we kept on. We walk out every morning. Uh, like, I needed to burn some fat. Yeah, this is my father's house. And we are here for a meeting. Actually, this is the house that my dad built in the village. Like way back in the 90s and my dad was there to rest wakey wakey this was 31st of december and i have bridesmaid duty let's get ready uh, yeah i am dressed and i'm about to leave i am driving myself and here is the final look do i look like a bridesmaid i think i look like a bridesmaid let me give you 360. <laughs> So let's go. I'm already late for the church. I am in Cathedral, the church. And thank God I'm not late. You see this church at my back? This is the biggest cathedral in Enugu State. This church, they started building this church when I was still a child. my boy hey you, you guys are welcome let me see your face how was your flight it was fine. you're welcome welcome my girl welcome my boy where is great yes you're welcome oh you're welcome well in the comments you need my back good evening welcome I want to do you. Don't like your face. Remove, remove your hand. <laughs> so you and your wife, we will not plan them. Go die, go die, go die white, white. <laughs> Jesus said. This two wife, when we get, and I don't grieve for this house. See here. Happy New Year! So, this is how we do it at home. Every New Year, we wake up with a gallon of palm milk. 
and wine. You know how we do it. Happy New Year. Cheers to a beautiful, fruitful, prosperous, and sumptuous, amazing New Year. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. After drinking my palm wine, I am here trying to get ready. I'm like to install this front. I mean, I was supposed to install this front before coming back home, but one thing led to another. I forgot my gum. Now I have gotten another gum, and I'm trying to do the front. After then, I'm getting ready to go for our family get together. And yeah, that's it basically. Let me talk to you when I'm done glamming up. <laughs> with the installation and a little touch of makeup how did i do this is my first time ever installing frontal for myself and i think i did i tried i tried my best even though my best might not be good enough but i tried so we are going for a family get together and that's what today is about i'm sitting on this two piece and yeah i'm ready to go I look like a Christmas girl. <laughs> this installation took me like a very long time. So please give me some accolades. I deserve it. <laughs> it's been our tradition for us to come together and celebrate, enjoy ourselves and see each other every 1st of January. That's every new year. And just as we have been doing, we also did that this year. We eat and enjoy ourselves. And that came last two years as a girlfriend. <laughs> two years later, she's coming as a wife. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. <laughs> Plus one. No. <laughs> of January and the day for my grandmother's work keep slash suya night. I am dressed up and ready to head to the village to help out with most of the runarounds. We are building a new house in the village. My dad built a house which I showed you in the clip but my other brother is also building another house. Let me say a befitting house for us in the village but Due to one or two things, he couldn't finish the house before the burial. That's why we are still in town. So we shuffle from the Ansoka town to my village. So my voice is sounding somehow. It's not sounding like my voice. Because I've been sick for like two days, basically. I have cough, kata, and sore throat all together. Yesterday, I didn't even get myself at all. I struggled to go to the market. I struggled to go to the village to see what is happening. And I came back weak and I just laid down and slept till this morning. It's not been easy. My voice has changed. The weather in Soka town, if you know, the way Abuja weather is, that is mostly how Abuja or the north, let me say the north. The way the weather in the north is, that is how Osoka weather is. Most, during this dry season, during the festive period, it's dry, cold and very dusty so i think i have a flu from the whole weather um it's really affecting me so i've been taking ginger honey honey has been like my best friend it's even by the bedside it has been like my best friend i've been licking honey honey and taking ginger lemon just to at least help my immune system to fight the the what the weather is doing to me so yeah I'm dressed up and I'm heading to the village to take you through how um, a burial, burying an old woman in the village looks like. I have a content that is titled Meeting the, the oldest, woman in my, oldest Woman in My Village on this channel. And that's my grandmother that just died. She is 103, 103. She's aged. So it's like celebration of life. It's not like the kind of burial that you have to go there and cry. <laughs> So that's basically it. I'm ready and I want to leave right now. 
I'm wearing something very comfortable. The same thing I wore during our family get together that I'm wearing today because I feel very comfortable in it. So see you. Before heading to the village, I made a quick stop at my brother's hotel. First, I I didn't eat before leaving the house. I had to buy a chicha. This food is called a chicha and it's one of my favorite food. So I made a quick stop at my brother's hotel to help him spray the chair in the hotel that is rusted. As a DIY jelly that I am, I cannot see something that I can do and not get it done. So I had to buy paint and spray painted it and it came out looking all new and nice. 